Good morning to you on this Monday morning. Today we continue our consideration of the Proverbs and we start on chapter 6, Parental Counsel. My son, if you have become surety for your neighbour, have given a pledge for a stranger. If you have been snared with the words of your mouth, have been caught with the words of your mouth, do this then, my son, and deliver yourself, since you have come into the hand of your neighbour. Go humble yourself and importune your neighbour. Give no sleep to your eyes, nor slumber to your eyelids. Deliver yourself like a gazelle from the hunter's hand, and like a bird from the hand of the fowler. Go to the ant, O sluggard. Observe her ways and be wise, which, having no chief, officer, or ruler, prepares her food in the summer, and gathers her provision in the harvest. How long will you lie down, O sluggard? When will you arise from your sleep? A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest. Your poverty will come in like a vagabond and your need like an armed man. Here we have some very practical advice. Be careful not to become a guarantor for your neighbour or for a stranger because you're only going to get yourself into trouble. Be very careful how you manage your finances and what you promise to people. And then we have a warning against laziness. Don't be a sluggard. Learn from the ant. Learn from the ant who has no chief officer or ruler that prepares her food in the summer, gathers her provision in the harvest. How long will you lie down? How long will you laze around in your bed? Get up and do something. It's very important. God does not condone laziness. We all need to rest. We all need to get a good night's sleep. But God has created us for good works. He's created us to, to do things, to be busy for Him, to be functioning, not to laze around all day. It's very tempting in this time, especially when many of us are in lockdown, to just let down our guard, become lazy. But that will not bring a blessing neither to us or to anybody else. We need to be disciplined. We need to be continually doing the work that God has given us to do. We should always look our best, be our best, do our best, no matter what the circumstances are. And if we do our part, God will bless us. He has given us gifts, he's given us abilities. We should work with everything that he's given to us. And while we're still here, it means that we haven't finished the work that he has foreseen for us to do. When that work is over, he will take us to eternal rest. But while it's day, we must work. Let's now ask God's blessing over this day. Lord God, Heavenly Father, thank you for a night's rest and thank you for a new day. With every new morning, we are reminded of your mercies, which are new every morning. We thank you for that. We thank you for the warnings, practical advice given to us here in the scriptures about how we manage our finances. Also about not being lazy, but being productive. Help us not to just lie around in our beds and do nothing, but to be fruitful and to be doing work for you. It doesn't matter what stage of life we are in, there's always something that we can be doing. Help us to see what it is that you want us to do, and then help us to do it. And may we do it with an attitude of gratitude always. Lord, as this lockdown continues, we just pray for patience. We pray for those who may be struggling. We pray, Lord, that you would shine your light into the darkest corners, into the darkest hearts. We pray for somebody that doesn't know you yet, that this would be the day they open their hearts to you. Lord, we love you and we bless you and we thank you. We thank you, Lord, that you are with us always. And we thank you that no matter what our circumstances may be, we're never alone. And we know that the best still lies ahead. We pray for our governments and people in authority who have to make tough decisions. We pray that you would help them to make the right ones. We also, Lord, pray for our doctors and nurses and testers and pathology workers and everybody that's working so hard to try to keep us safe, to keep us from harm from this virus. Lord, have mercy. We pray for those who are scared, who are confused, we pray, Lord, that you would bring your peace to every heart, to every home. 
we commit all to you, knowing that you love us with an everlasting love. And we thank you once again. And we ask, Lord, that you would help us to be wise in all of our decisions. Help us also always to look our best, be our best, and to do our best. Fill us in you today with your Holy Spirit. And fill us with your word. Hear us now as we join together in praying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, have a blessed day. God be with you. God willing, I'll see you all again tomorrow.